Oh boy, I have not done one of these in a while. Of course, I am talking about random Filipinos that go viral on social media. Today's video is volume 36, if I'm not mistaken, all right? I will be reacting to a compilation of videos that I took note of before I traveled to Asia. So these are not brand new, but they are probably still worth it if I put them on the side for my reaction of random Filipinos that go viral on social media. And I am saying that these are old because ever since I got to the Philippines, I did not, I was not active uh, with my DMs, okay? Because one, I was on vacation, and two, because my DMs blew up in the Philippines. First of all, they blew up as soon as I got to the Philippines because people saw my stories and sent me tons of beautiful welcome messages, and I thank you all for that. And secondly, when they saw me on it's showtime, right? As soon as people sh saw, saw me on it's showtime, my DMs just went insane. So I have like a crazy backlog of DMs with tons of, you know, welcome messages and impressions on me on it's showtime, but also requests, right? But because I have a huge backlog, I still haven't had the time to go through it. And it's during times like these that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I could definitely use like a social media manager or something like that, you know, because it's really, really time consuming to go through my DMs and answer everybody, you know? Even though, even prior to this, I could not answer everyone, but at least uh, I was able to go through my DMs and at least read them and take note of the videos that interested me, you know? But it is what it is. Uh, it will happen. I will take the time to go through it eventually. But for today, we're going to react to old ones, okay? But I'm sure they're going to be very nice. Uh, but before we start, mali ganyang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovela. I'm a sound engineer, beatmaker, and content creator on YouTube. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Check this out. Check this out. This is not my first time reacting or even seeing a uh, Filipino staff, restaurant staff sing, you know, during people's, you know, like uh, time together while they're eating, right? Uh, but these actually feel like a legit a cappella group singing together, right? Like it's smooth, right? Like the harmony is really smooth. So it's written, the title says, Filipino Geography, Ni Yoyoy, Vidyame, Og Koro Serafim. So as you know, I've been to the Philippines, but I have not experienced something like this. The only time they sang to me, it was during my birthday, in Siargao, okay, in uh, the restaurant Isla uh, Siargao, no, Isla Cucina Siargao, yes, so they brought me the cake and they just sang happy birthday pretty quickly, right? But yeah, I'm pretty sure that when I go to the Philippines uh, at the end of the year and I spend a few months there, perhaps I'll be able to experience something like this. And you better believe if I do, I will vlog the hell out of it. Yes, this is nice. Makati? <laughs> 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 Paranyake. I love it. They are saying words that I know. You know, Paranyake, Las Piñas, Makati. These are places, right? They're 
just so cute. Southern Luzon. Okay, so that is why the title says Philippine Geography. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Philippines, a story. And they're just dancing. Ah, I love the energy, man. This is what I want in my life. And that is why I am seriously, like, I'm not even kidding. I am seriously considering moving to the Philippines for good. Like, for good. Actually, living in the Philippines. This is one of the reasons. It's positive vibes good energy you know what i'm saying at all times oh it's so wonderful this was fun this was a lot of fun all right let's move on to the next video when you are the best the coolest girl to know so prettier, you know the rest is of the show so it cannot be any more real than this or raw than this right it's a kid in a filipino school just singing in front of his uh of his classmates. So the title says, Kantahan daw asami nija before Mongoli. Drabe manang voice bujag ate jasmine. Okay. Maka pud ka supportive jade babies. So many times I wish you'd be the one for me. But never knew you get like this girl what you do. Me. He's so into it. I'm growing a runner up. And no matter what, you're always number one. My prize is station one and only. I do you, girl. I want you. The one to get me with the tattoo. Tattoo. You're my special little lady. The one that makes me crazy. Hey, let's go. Obviously he can sing, but what we really notice in this video is indeed the support of his classmates, right? Just clapping and everything. That was cute. That was lovely. All right, let's move on to the third video of the day. Oh boy, Sharon is helping Kyla with the high-pitched note. My goodness. Okay, so we got Kalaika Estrella, who is in my top five already. Uh, Sharon Regis singing Gusto ko nang bumitao. This is delicious. And I'm thinking this is on its showtime, okay? Can you imagine if the day I went to showtime, there was, there was this happening in front of me? Oh my gosh. I mean, even what's his name? Uh, Darren Espanto wasn't there that day. And I think he's here. here. Yeah, <laughs> Nice to come on, Love the vibrato. And by the way, this is nothing next to 
what I did with my friends at the meet and greet. Of course, I'm joking, <laughs> but we had a blast. If you want to see like a short clip of it, it's on uh, my Instagram. But eventually I will be sharing like the entire video of me filming, uh, you know, my friends at the meet and greet uh, sing karaoke. You know what I'm saying? It will be like a whole vlog video. But obviously they are killing it. They are professionals. They are singing it beautifully. And we have entertainment on the side. The hosts <laughs> are enjoying this a little bit too much. Wait, 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 wait. They both have such crystal clear of voices that almost sound identical. So I don't know if it's wise to put two identical voices together. You know what I'm saying? Because you need a little bit of, of, of uh, depth, you know, like when two voices that are different come together, they create like an interesting mix and they create like a certain uh, depth you know when they harmonize together but here is like two voices that sound the same trying to like sing the same notes sometimes harmonizing but i don't know i don't know Wow, Anga Ling, that was so good though. Like, it's so funny how, wait, it's so funny how there are some people, just like the person that made this video, that cares so much about which type of note they are singing, right? Look at that, D5, <laughs> G5, E5. Oh, that was beautiful. That D5 note together, it was very steady, man. That was gorgeous. But I still have would have I still would have preferred two different voices, you know? So that at least we can we can distinguish both artists, you know? But I'm telling you, Laika Estrella is coming. Is coming for the throne, baby. Should I say? Should I even dare say that? Like seriously, she is insane. Wow. All right, let's move on to the next uh, video. Kai Langan Kita by Nash Casas. Wowza, that was extremely clean. I mean, she climbed the stairs, even though she does, you know, when I say climbing the stairs, usually uh, I refer to a singer that goes up, you know, in, in, in notes, right? But in a fast way. Here she took her time, obviously, but she, it was very steady. It was very proper and clean, you know? That was awesome. I want to hear it again. Mm. Wow. It's as if she were coached, vocally coached her entire life. That's how perfect that was. This, the notes were so clean and steady.
gorgeous. That was so perfect. Do you know who she is reminding me of? She's remind, reminding me of Yumi Kapile when I met up with her and she sang to me. Yes, she sang karaoke in front of me, Yumi Kapile. She is incredible. I was in awe of her talent. I mean, you guys, when I saw Yumi Kapile, I was like, this girl, like, that voice, that expertise, that vocal experience and perfection is coming out of such a tiny person. Like seriously, I was kind of taken aback by how, how tiny, you know, uh, Yumi Kapili is. And you know, a lot of Filipinas are very small, but the voice in that small body is so impressive. So this girl is definitely reminding me of Yumi Kapili of how perfectly they can they can sing like and belt it's it's so impressive So, so nice. And you know, in the past, I've reacted to videos of uh, Filipinos that try to make singing difficult for themselves, you know, by um, putting something in their mouth or uh, being upside down and everything. And at the time, I didn't understand why they enjoyed doing that so much. Now I do. Now I do because singing for a lot of Filipinos is second nature. It's actually pretty easy. And I saw it firsthand with Yumi Kapili because she was singing karaoke. And at the same time, <laughs> she was like fiddling with her phone. So she was multitasking, okay? Singing and doing something on the side. And the singing was perfect, still perfect. She did not flinch. Man, I am so lucky to have been able to experience that, uh, you know, live. It was crazy. Yo, she's a beast. Nasha Casas. Who the hell is she? She nailed it. It was gorgeous. Seriously. I'm very impressed, really, really impressed. Wow, the notes were steady, they were clear, they were they were just clean, you know? That was so, so nice. Yeah, her breathing technique was just on point too, in my opinion, because otherwise she would not have been able to sustain notes for that long this well, you know? All right, let's move on to the last video, I believe. All right, we have a video on YouTube by Kael and Pop Pops, and it's, I think, a cover of Shania Twain's very popular song, You're Still the One. He's so cute, he looks extremely young, the kid. Okay, I like the fact that this has been recorded in a semi-professional environment, studio. Uh, clearly, because uh, uh, the audio quality is really good. And there is reverb, you know, on the vocals. But there's also auto-tune. I think you can hear it as well. And I can hear it more uh, when the father sings, you know. I love this song. Ah, there you go. The father is harmonizing with himself. He recorded backup vocals and everything. I'd like to hear the kid and the father harmonize together. They would be cute, right?
right. Okay. As you can see, they are not actually singing in the video. This is lip syncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The father did all the work uh, in post-production. So it's less... I mean, it's still cute, right? It's still super cute. And I'm pretty sure that the kid was able to hit the notes right. But I feel like the father still, um, you know, tried to fix a few things here and there. Especially when you hear the autotune. It's still super cute. Cute. I love this uh, the bonding experience between the father and uh, the, the the son. That's beautiful. You know, I think I think I'm gonna marry a Filipina just so that my kid can sing. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I'll be like the beat maker, right? I make beats for my kid, and the kid will sing. There you go. Yeah, that will be the the main reason. I'm joking, of course. That will be a beautiful bonus if uh, I marry a Filipina and my kid can actually sing. Hmm. There you go, guys. That was the, the, the videos of this uh, random Filipinos that go viral social media volume. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Which one was your favorite? Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me. And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.